Today we're gonna to be fishing a private waterway to see if we can find some giant fish to maybe bring back to our giant 4,000 gallon backyard pond. So guys, this is our 4,000 gallon pond here and this thing is loaded with fish. We have a big, beautiful tarpon, a school of unbelievable koi, some big red tail catfish. Big boys. And you know what? We just don't film this pond enough and I think you guys really can get a kick out of this pond here because this thing is beautiful. I we mean, need to film it more. We it's really do. It's an amazing pond. It's an amazing pond. We're definitely gonna be doing some more freshwater content, some more videos with this, and just freshwater in general. We're trying to catch some big fish for this pond. I mean, this is definitely our best looking pond. I mean, if you look at this thing, this thing belongs in a damn museum. Yep. The way we built this thing was pure, and these fish are thriving inside of here. We told you guys we were gonna make it salt water, but we, but we got a bunch of comments to keep it fresh. I think it's a good idea, probably for now, to keep it fresh. We'll have the salt water stuff in the garage, but for now, let's keep this beautiful 4,000 gallon pond fresh, and let's get some monsters in here. Let's get some big boys. Like, let's get some monsters let's in Let's get some pond. giants, dude. Come on, let's get some new fish. We haven't added a fish in here in like probably a year. Dude, it's been so long. They these boys have gotten friends. so big. Let's get some food. Hope everyone's having a great week, by the way. Just stay positive in anything you guys are doing. Seriously. Stay positive. Stay positive. Sometimes you have bad weeks. Sometimes you have rough days. Mentally. I don't know why. It just comes. It does. But the fish guys, ha it happens to the fish guys too. It's currently happening. So we are not like superhumans, dude. We're just normal guys. We have problems too, man. <laughs> it's all right. All right, let's feed these guys. Let's give these fish some breakfast. Look at all those koi pellets. We already know who's going to come in hot and that's going to be our huge tarpon. Come on, boys and girls. Here we go. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. It only takes one. Once one comes to the surface, they'll come. Look oh, at that all white koi, koi right koi, there. Dude. These koi are koi fish, dude. Oh, mm. there goes our lid. Koi fish are literally so beautiful. It's not even funny. They come in so many different colors and varieties. I love them, if I'm being completely honest. Now, if you guys didn't know, me and manager Brooke behind the camera, we're going to be getting married in November. And guess where we're getting married? Can anyone guess? We love this pond so much, we're getting married right here. And it's this? not even a joke, they, no. because we joke around a lot, it's, it's not, not a even a joke, it's actually happening. Like on this blade of grass, I will be standing right here. And the pond will be behind, beautiful scenery, koi fish. I'm a fish guy till I, just till I die, dude. I'm <laughs> getting married at the pond, I'm getting married at our fish Chris's pond. Chris's best man is gonna be Jeremy the Red Tail Catfish. <laughs> That's actually, I actually have about 12 best men in there. They're gonna be front and center. You're talking about best view of the wedding? Those fish in that pond. Guys, we got this beautiful letter today. Whoever did make this, shout out to you. Look at that drawing. We got pans, we got pots 2.0. I think that might be sponge. Is that sponge? <laughs> we have a chain link eel. Look at that chain link eel. Thanks. We got our green moray eel. This is a fantastic drawing. I absolutely love it. But you guys will see pans soon. He's not all white anymore. He's changing back to Pots. He's like an Oreo right now. He's black and white. It's crazy. He's actually, cool. He's actually he really cool. cool looking. He's like an Oreo. Shout out to whoever made this. Their name is not on here, but we appreciate you so much. We freaking love you guys, man. We love our supporters. The diehards, the positivity. Absolutely love it. Love you guys. Let's, Let's go catch go. a big fish. Come on. Let's go. We're in the car. We got our rods. We got our cast net. And we got a beautiful bucket of live bait. And this is a private lake. So any private lake is the best lake. You know, the public ones on all the main streets, those are fished out. Those are hard. Big, those are fished hard. There's no big fish in there. But when we're, where we're going, it's a gated community, and there is some giants in here, guys, some monster fish. I went just to mess around, and in like four casts, I caught a nice, nice bass. It wasn't the biggest bass, but it was, a, it was a good one. I don't even know what's gonna be in this lake, but there could be some giants in there, including gators, but you never know. Let's see if we can catch something cool. Oh, nice splash right there. Already. This looks nice. Dude, you can see everything. This in the always shallows. gets me fired up. Listen, I don't know any, actually, I only know one person. They don't even live there anymore in a gated community with a lake. I'll go there and catch 50 bass. Literally, no joke, catch 50. No, most of the time I'm fishing public spots, I gotta work my tail off to catch five. This gets me fired up. Uh, I did bring the drone, so we're gonna definitely fly it up, see if we can see some fish from the sky, and we'll get some cool shots of us catching some big bass. Now, let me show you guys what we're fishing today. I do have my topwater frog, okay? Big topwater guy. Caught up one bass on one, and I'm hyped. But we're using these shiners here. These guys are the best live bait for fishing the lakes. Just some nice shiners. We got two dozen of them in there. Look at that, frisky, super frisky. There's some big, giant yellow carp in here. 
like massive ones. This was years ago when I used to see them in this lake and I haven't seen them since, but we could catch a giant carp like this big golden. So epic. This brings me back to the good old days, folks. Live shiner right here. This is the best bass bait you can ever imagine. We're gonna flick it out not very far right there. That's all she takes. You watch this. You watch this, guys. Give it some time and she gets smoked. This is what I'm starting with. This is what I cut that other bass on the other day. That's nice right there, a little topwater frog. They can't resist the frogs. They can't resist them. Look at this action right here. See that frog? That's absolutely gorgeous. You want to really make it look like a frog and those bass just come out of nowhere. Watch for gators, Jack, serious. Keep my eyes peeled. This is where I caught the bass. Oh, I'm already hung up. You're in the tree. <laughs> this is fish got crazy for you. Can I catch fish? Maybe I can catch trees, that's for damn sure. Nice. You got it? Got it. Whoa, 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 fish. Fish just exploded. Come on, that's a peacock. No! Dude, there's Jack. peacocks in here. Jack, you're tripping. Hang on, I gotta get a new bait. You're tripping. Hang on. Jack lost another fish. This is a marlin rod. That's number two. My rod doesn't even bend, I just pull the fish. Nice bass. Nice bass there. At first I thought it was a peacock. Dude, it's a bass, it's a nice one. That's a pretty fat one, Chris. Dude, that's a fatty. Dude, that's not a bad fish. All right, I'm switching to the shiner. Dude, that's not a bad one right there at all. Look Dude, at that thing. That's a good fish. That is a nice fish. Look at that. Make sure Hell there's no yeah, gators. Jack. Dude, that's a good one. Dude, are you kidding me? That's a good That's fish. a chunky fish. Eee. That's a big one, That's dude. like a two pounder? That's a solid fish, maybe a little bro. Maybe a little bigger. Peacock right there, Jack. See the peacock? Yeah, there's a peacock right there. Get a bait, get a bait. All right, so obviously our goal is to catch one for the pond. This one right here is actually really good size to where the catfish are not gonna eat it. That is a healthy first fish of the day. Look at that mouth. Large mouth bass. This is seriously one of my absolute favorite things to do in the whole entire world is to come out to a lake with live shiners and pull on some fish like this. That is sick, dude. Look, that's a nice fish. And you know what's funny, guys? We have never, all the times we've had our pond, the years we've had our big freshwater pond, not ever a largemouth bass. I've always wanted a big largemouth bass. We're gonna put this guy in the cooler just for now, but I think we're gonna catch a bigger one. I think we're gonna upgrade for sure. Yeah. Perfect. All right, lay him in there for now. Dude, that's not a bad bass. That is not a bad bass to start the day. Listen, Holy don't. crap, that is such a cool fish. That is such a cool fish. Maybe one more. Don't get too ahead of yourself, because fish guy Chris, he can catch trees, but he can catch logs in the lake. So I think I'm gonna catch a bigger one than you, Jack. Oh God. Oh yeah, he's good. He'll be good. Perfect, look at that fish, Brooke. That's epic. Fat and healthy. Just the way we like them, baby. Now that we got our first bass under our belt here, a big boy, we're gonna catch many more. Just wanna remind you guys about the brand new Into the Deep hoodies that we just dropped. This is our first hoodie. You guys have been begging for hoodies from us from the Fish Guy shop, so we made the Into the Deep ones, the fan favorite shirt. You guys absolutely love that design. So go to shopfishguy.com and get yourself a Into the Deep black hoodie before they sell out, because they're probably gonna be quick. All right, watch this, you guys. There's a baby peacock bass. I got the smallest bait in the bucket. Little tiny shiner, watch this. We're gonna catch this thing. He's sitting up close. This fish is so pretty. Yep, look, look, on the top right there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Peacock bass on. Peacock bass on the marlin rod. Look at how beautiful. <laughs> oh look at that. God. That is such a pretty fish. Obviously, this guy is not gonna be big enough to put into the pond. That no is way. a sandwich for Jeremy the Red Tail Catfish. That is an absolute sandwich, but look at that fish right there. Peacock bass are so dang beautiful. This one's got some nice green on them too. So look those are that. the babies in here. Clearly this is bigger fish though. Easy buddy, I'm gonna get you back in the water. Peacock bass. A little minnow. That's an aquarium fish if you've ever seen one. Look at that, green, orange, yellow. Look at the spot on the tail. Sometimes they'll have blue on the ends of their fins and I'm sure we're gonna catch a much bigger one today. There he goes, wee. Oh my God, he just disappeared in the freaking uh, grass there. Uh. Didn't know they were getting a landscaping job today, huh? Yeah, I'm on. Jack, dude. Fish on, baby. Stop Small one, that was on the biggest bait in the bucket, too. Stop taking all the fish. Smallest fish of the day. I got him back. Get him in the bucket. Another bass. This is probably like the typical size that you catch. So the one that we started our day with, that was. That was a big boy. A dang good start to the day. Get that hook out of his mouth. I might be on here. Chris, oh, on. Yeah. Chris has a good one. Nice peacock. Oh my God. 
Nice, nice fish, it. Chris. Yes, sir. Chris, nice fish. Nice fish, Chris. Yes, sir. Nice one. That's a big one. Told you to stop stealing all the fish. Land him. There, right there, right there. Land him. Whew. That's a stud, bro. That's a nice. That's a stud. Nice peacock, bro. Ah. Damn. Yes, sir. That's a pretty one. Look at the colors on that. Absolute beauty. Look at that. See, he's already got his little hump there coming in. So I think that's a male and he is beautiful. Look at that tail. Absolute gorgeous tail. Colors are nuts on these guys. Such a cool fish. I don't think we're going to take peacocks out today. No, largies. I think we're going to take largies. So let's let this guy go. Watch this guy swim off. It's absolutely nuts. Ready? Ooh. Look at that. Darted off like a beast. Heck yeah, dude. That was Sick a fatty. Let's that go. was a fatty. Let's go. There we go. Big? Oh, he came off. That's how you steal somebody's fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get in there. Get in there. <laughs> I'm stealing. I'm so stealing. It ain't even funny. I got de-hooked by the weed. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Did you see that? It's such a small bass. That, they might be sitting up real close. I don't even know what number that is for me. Come here. Come here, boy. Yeah. Another largey. I can't believe we caught the biggest fish of the day right away. That is such a cool fish though, man. I love these things. Chris, oh, swing and a miss for Chris. See you later. Literally ate it right on the bank. Hang on, where'd that little shiner go? Let's feed it to him. Let's give it to him. Take your meal. Take it with you. There you go. Let's get another shiner, baby. Let's catch a giant. I'm feeling it, I swear. Snakehead on me. Look at my bait, Jack. Or bro, bro, watch my bait, watch my bait. He's getting chased. You see it? On. Oh. No. I just missed him, Jack. I dude, that him. was a pop of the century. My, um, dude, did you see that eat? I see him, I see him. No, that's a, there's a peacock there there's too. There's a peacock and a snakehead. I've got the peacock right now. No, he just spit it out. He just ate it again. Got him. No. God, we suck. God, we suck. We should have got way more baits, dude. We should have got we way more no baits, baits bro. left. I'm pissed. Yeah. Where they at? My pants are falling. Yeah. I don't even have time to pick them off. My <laughs> pants are falling down so low. Whoa, what was that? What was that out there just rolled? Looked like a tarpon. What was that? What was that? Come on, come to Papa. That was a huge fish. It's out deep. I need to find out what this thing is, dude. If that is a freaking clown knife fish, I'm gonna lose my mind, Brooke. There's literally. literally, there's a lake monster out here. Something is big and something is rolling around. <sighs> no, it's Tell a peacock. It's a monster, I just Jack. saw that huge thing waking and it was super close, but then I got this oh, peacock. Oh, it's a big peacock. Yeah. Dude, that Anyone? thing, I don't know what it was. There's something huge in here. Look at that, that's a good one though. This thing played me. I literally yeah. saw it boil and then I cast my bait and I immediately got bit. I thought I had it. Come on, dude. That's a big one, dude. Another peacock. I think, Chris, I think yours was a little bit bigger, but. Really? Mine was still. Steadier. This one's mouth super small. Look how small that oh, mouth yeah, is. Oh yeah, mine was bigger. It's a big body with a small mouth. Quite funny, super pretty, but there's something big in here. <laughs> Hey guys, I am flying the drone around just to see what I can find. And underneath the water here, looks like there's two big, it looks like tunnels, maybe I'm tripping. But there could be like a little seawall there where there's some tunnels underneath because this lake is giant, so it probably connects underneath all the houses. And uh, there could be some monster, monster fish in there. So we should definitely check out that spot, see if we can catch anything mega in these tunnels here. Guys, I think there's clown knife here. All those things that we see boiling up, I literally just saw it again, and it, it's clown knife, dude. If you don't know what a clown knife is, we'll throw up a picture here. There's some big mega ones that are in a lot of our lakes here, and we can catch giants. We need some likes on this video because I'm really debating about going to Bass Pro right now and buying myself a John boat. <laughs> I'm actually not joking. They're not that expensive, bro. I'm fully addicted. Also, there needs to be, we need to make this into a big time series, hunting down whatever those big fish are in the middle of the canal. Dude, there's First, something huge. There's something like, actually, giant out there. Giant. I saw it so many times. Just. I don't know what it is. I'm this guy out. Chris is coming for you. I'm about to drop 5K on a boat. There goes my whole bank account gone. Zero dollars left. I'll eat the grass. I don't care. I'll literally come to the lake. I'll fish. No, and then the I'll just say, catch. oh, this is lunch. At least I can survive. Chris, there's pesticides on that. Mm, now they're in my body. Look at this big boy right here. Oh, he's a beast. I don't want to get splashed. But he's he's got a lot of energy, a lot of life. Super deep green. First largey in the in the big pond. I'm addicted. We're we're back to adding monsters to this pond. No, it's it's gotta happen. Like we can have so many more fish in there. So many more. You were holding it like you were ready to go. The whole day I kept my foot dry, and now it's wet. And when I had to get into my car. <laughs>
You guys know I hate being wet in any possible scenario. That's like my number one pet peeve. Anytime I'm wet, I use three towels when I get into the shower to dry my body. Oh my it has God. to be 100% dry. I am fired up about our new pet bass. This is not the biggest one we're gonna be getting though. I definitely want a bigger one. I think, oh yeah. But we're naming her Barb the Bass. Barb the Bass, baby. This thing we're gonna get to be an absolute whale. Dude, he's good looking. Yeah, dude, he's a pretty, pretty bass. Let's acclimate him while we're feeding our big boys here so that he doesn't get, you know, they don't think he's food. Water's that, I love largemouth. I honestly, people love peacocks. I love largemouth. They're just so mean, aggressive, and they get big. They get very big. We can get this guy to 10 pounds. Oh, that'd be sick. If we can catch a 10 pounder, oh my God. I'd oh, lose yeah. it. I would lose it. In the meantime, well, Barbara the Bass is acclimating. Let's feed some giants right here, baby. We got loaded up. Here's Jeremy, look at this boy. Look at that boy right there. Jeremy, you want it? Huh? <laughs> ah, it's like a little nothing to him. This guy's, this guy's always hungry. Oh, oh, there he is. There's the tarpon too. The tarpon's ready, the tarpon's ready. Oh my God, look at this coon right here, bro. Can you see him? Spin it around, big guy. His eyes are right looking right at This is like Robbie's. Here you go, boy. Turn it around. Here it comes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that fish is an absolute beast. He's spinning it. Watch how fast this Jesus! Oh, that tarpon's fast. So fast, he's back. Oh yeah, here he is, here he is. Oh! He's such a savage, dude. He's such a beast, bro. Oh, frick, frick. Frick. He got it off the bottom. Get it off the bottom. Here you go. Here you go. Beast. All white, dude. That thing glows. The, the camera probably hardly even focuses on his color. Tarpon's the big eater in the pond. God, dude, he's eating like a flay and a half. Yeah, he's a big, big eater. Oh. Wow, dude. That is just, he's a beast. There you go. Oh. It is cool to see me under the surface. Yeah. Because you can see everything. Oh, he got, he's, Dude, eating, he's eating like he's literally eating the most. three fillets. <laughs> lazy, big lazy catfish. Boom. Oh. The Let's fish have been fed. The pond looks amazing. Ever since we put that air stone in here, the fish have just been so lively and just, oh, it's amazing. But as you can see, we have so much room in this pond. We need some monsters in here. We need some big boys in here. Ready for this thing, Brooke? Yep. You want to measure him? Wow. Oh. That is a beautiful dude, side. fish, dude. All right, big boy. Enjoy your brand new home. We're gonna get you big, you're gonna eat well in here. Dude, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. He's good. That's crazy, dude. Look, first Look at him. Mouth. First large mouth in the pond. He's gonna become a monster. He's sitting there, he's like, uh, oh, dude, I really wanna add that big piece of wood in here. Should we? It'd be so cool. Where is it? Actually, wait, didn't I have an issue with this? It floated. But didn't it like, did it poop? No, I don't think, I think we should anything. do a ceiling on it. Okay. Honestly. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Let us know if you guys think we should add that giant log. I think we should, but we definitely are gonna have to put some sort of aquatic ceiling on it. Cause I remember using that log before and it was like, Bleh. Barb the bass sitting on the bottom. You got koi in here, you got some thread tails. Some Barb thread tails? Thread tails. Nice, right some there. nice thread tails. There he goes, he's kicking. He's going going to, to the back. He's getting in that current. I don't blame you, buddy. I like current too. We're gonna get this thing so big. It's gonna be so freaking epic. I cannot wait. And I think we definitely need to go back and see what fish was pushing that wake. There's something massive in there. I'm not even kidding whether it's a huge carp, a big paku, a clown knife fish. I'm not too sure, but there's only one way to find out and that's to head back there. So if you want us to head back, comment down below that you guys want us to go investigate what that monster is. Leave some comments down below of what fish you think would look good in this pond, I think big gar would be really cool. They, we, we found a new spot for gar. So drop down in the comments what you guys think our next addition to the beautiful freshwater pond should be, and we will make that happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got our new bass, Barbara, Barbara the bass, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.